Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to The John Morris Show. This episode, I want to talk about how coding almost killed me. So this actually wasn't even that that long ago, maybe three or four years ago that this happened to me. And I was doing what I think, what I see a lot, a lot of coders do. I think most coders do this. So what happens is when you kind of get in first, get into web development and you get you get your first few clients and you realize, you kind of say to yourself, hey, people will actually pay me to do this. And it's kind of this euphoric moment where you realize, hey, I can actually get paid to do this. And so you have this tendency to kind of go all in, in with it. And so you take every client you get and you try to make as much money as you can because you're now doing it, doing something that you love. And it's just, I can't believe there, there's this kind of grace period or this period of time where you just can't believe people are still paying you for this. So uh, again, you make as much money as you can. And because most of us aren't super familiar with sales or online marketing or internet marketing, you we, we tend to compete on price to start off with. And so we we generally start off with lower rates. And so what happens is you end up with a bunch of clients and they're all paying you a little bit and you're working a a ton of hours in order to make the money that you're making and for me what that looked like was I was literally spending 14 to 16 hours a day with I think at the height of it I probably had nine or ten active clients at one time which is I think about it now it's absolutely insane I mean I don't know what other people do but it was just a lot for me to try and manage uh, in terms of actual projects I was working on at one time. And so again, I was working 14 to 16 hours a day. And I did this for about a year. And had I kept going, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind it would have killed me. Because I ballooned up to almost 290 pounds. Uh, my back got so bad. It just felt like th- there was like a split in the middle of my back and it got so bad that I couldn't even sit down for more than a few minutes. And with that many clients and working that many hours, I was always stressed out. I was always tired. I was always anxious. And at one point, the kind of my wake up call was my left arm. I think probably either from my back or my leaning my elbow on my desk all the time, probably both, but my left arm went numb. Now it wasn't completely numb to where I couldn't I couldn't feel it totally, but it was almost like this kind of tingling feeling that it had all the time. And it was like, it was just always kind of when, when your arm goes to sleep and it's waking up and it's kind of slow and sluggish, that's how my mar- arm was all the time. And that's when, and it, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't come back. Like I couldn't get it to stop. And so that's kind of the wake up call for me when I knew something had to give. So I told a bunch of clients at that point that I was no longer going to be working with them, that I was changing the way I was doing things, and and I started making changes. And what I really kind of focused in on was how could I make the same or close to the same money while working dramatically less hours? And I wanted to work with fewer clients. I wanted to work less hours but get paid more for those hours. And I wanted to see how far I could take that, like how, how few hours I could work to make still make the money that I was uh, making at that point. And so today, I now only have one client. And I actually make more than I did back then. And I don't spend 16 hours a day at my desk. I'm not constantly stressed out. And I, of course, have got the feeling back in my arm with a little Cairo chiropractics and massage therapy and uh, things have just been dramatically different by going that route and instead of competing on price selling on value competing on value focusing on fewer clients better service etc and and again you know I make more money than I did then and I work uh, dramatically fewer hours so it's something for you to think about as you go forward in your career because it's easy to get caught up in the euphoria of initially getting paid to code to say yes to everybody and be solely driven by the money and think that 
you have to compete on price with all the other developers out there. And if you don't take the right approach, if you don't take the approach of focusing on fewer clients and better service and so forth, you're going to end up working more, probably making less than you could. And uh, if you're unlucky, it there's a real possibility it could either hurt you, hurt your health, or God forbid, kill you. So uh, it's something to strongly think about. And this approach that I talk about, because I've talked about this many times before, isn't just, hey, it's a little bit better way. It really does come down to your own sanity, your own life, your own health, your own livelihood. So it's something to start thinking about how you can do that. Now, all of this and everything that I've learned, I talk about in this month's Get Paid to Trade, Get Paid to Code training over on Patreon. And specifically in that, what I cover is there's nine questions that you need to answer in order to go from overworked and underpaid and underappreciated, to go from that commodity, so to speak, to being well paid, working a lot less hours, having a bunch of free time to actually enjoy everything that you accomplish. And I call I call my old lifestyle and that old way of doing it the McDonald's syndrome. And so in that video, I essentially show you how to cure that, how to get out of that and get into working less while still making at least the same or more. So if you want to get access to that, you just become a supporting listener. You can go to johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon. You'll learn all of the details of, of that scenario. And not only are you going to get access to that training video, you're also going to get access to my complete PHP 101 cord with all the videos, all the course code, etc. You'll get access to my uh, older lightning responsive course you're going to get all my source code from all my youtube videos and and everything that i've done all my freelance templates so you're going to get a ton of of stuff over there along with this training video that's going to show you how to go from kind of the mcdonald's syndrome to being paid more working less etc so again you can get all the details at johnmorrisonline.com slash patreon but whatever you do start thinking about how you can move from that that kind of efficiency mindset competing on price mindset over to a value mindset competing on value uh giving people better service uh upping your prices getting paid more working less etc all right that'll do it for this episode thanks for listening we'll talk to you next time